Welcome back. It's time to check in with Kristen Smith over at Wax to get our ag news on this Monday morning. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, and how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Are you excited for this 60-degree weather today? Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be <laughs> so nice. I know. It's a perfect day to get out for a walk or oh. do something outside. Well, even the last, this whole weekend, besides Friday, we were outside doing stuff. It was just too nice not to. I know. Might as well. And how many times has this happened in oh. the winter? So might as well enjoy it, right? I'd rather have this than 50 degrees below zero. <laughs> Any day. I will take this. I felt that. <laughs> Any day. So, are you ready for your morning joke? I am. All right. What did they yell at Edgar Allan Poe when he nearly walked into a tree? What? Poetry. Oh. <laughs> Poetry! <laughs> I like that one. I didn't come I prepared. I thought that one was cute. Today. Yes, uh, I like that one. <laughs> that was a good one. Well, hey, since we're talking poetry, we'll jump into the ag news because that's poetry for our ears. Exactly. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection Secretary Randy Romanski co-sponsored an action item urging the USDA and Congress to appropriately fund state meat inspection programs. This was during the National Association of State Departments of Agriculture's Winter Policy Conference this month. Romanski is an active member of the Food Export Association of the Midwest USA, and he currently serves as the secretary slash treasurer of the organization. He says adequate funding would ensure a healthy and a robust meat supply. DADCAP is also accepting applications for the next Wisconsin Agriculture Youth Council. High school students who will be seniors during the 24 to 2025 school year should apply now for that council. The purpose of the Wisconsin Agriculture Youth Council is to encourage young people to engage with state government and increase their awareness of DATCAP's interactions with Wisconsin's agricultural industry. Students serve a one-year term and receive a certificate at the end of the completion of their term. DATCAP is seeking to have 15 members with at least one member from each of the nine council districts. To apply, students must complete an application form, and DATCAP will accept those applications through March 31st of this year. And do you know a restaurant that makes the best burger? The Wisconsin Beef Council is on a mission to crown the undisputed king of patties in their egg inaugural Wisconsin's Best Burger Contest. This competition will celebrate the restaurant that makes the best burger using 100% beef. So starting today through March 24th, you can send in your submission if you think that your local place has the best burger. The eight restaurants with the most nominations will then face off in a taste test showdown judged by a panel of burger tasting judges. The judges will judge on flavor, presentation, doneness, and overall experience. So get those nominations in before March 24th. And just a reminder that the 60th annual Eau Claire Farm Show is coming up next week, March 5th and 6th, which is Tuesday and Wednesday at the Chippewa Valley Expo Center. The event will run from 9 a.m. to 3.30 both days, and there is no admission to attend. We look forward to seeing everyone there. Let's head over to our market board this morning, see what happened on the overnight. On the Chicago Board of Trade, your March corn was down just a fraction at 399, so pretty quiet on the overnight. <clears throat> Excuse me, your March wheat was up a penny at 575. March soybeans, they were unchanged at 1133. Switching over to that dairy side, your barrel cheese, that was up a half a cent to $1.61 and a half. Your blocks were up a nickel to $1.55, and your AA grade butter, that was up three and three quarter cent to 285. Switching over those Class 3 futures for February. February was down just a nickel, nothing too crazy, to 1614. March was up 18 cents to 1731. April was up 19 cents to 1785. And then those markets were upward trending through December. And that's a look at what's going on over here for your Monday morning. That is pretty, that's great. I love the upward trending because our temperatures are upward yes. trending today. I just can't get over it. 60 degrees and almost. 70, I think Mike is forecasting for next weekend. So. Well, hey, we'll take it. I know, right? <laughs> I like it. Hey, and I got one more joke for you. All right. Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? No. Oh, come on. They say he made a mint. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs>
I took that Monday. one out of your book. Come on. I know. I know that. That's definitely a joke I would tell. That's a Monday joke definitely for you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great rest of your day, You Christy. too, and have a refreshing Monday morning. Yes. Thank you. From the